Stephen A. Yes. Do you still have Philly winning the division? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Um, you know, I don't like the way they're looking. Please don't get me wrong. I'm not okay. blind. I'm not I'm not sold on the Philadelphia Eagles from the standpoint that, you know, they look like a shell of themselves compared to what they looked like last year. I get it. Defensively, they've had issues. I was very concerned when they were down 19-3 to three yesterday. No question about it. Little did I know that Pat Sherman would make it so easy for me. He'd forget <laughs> to give Saquon Barkley the ball in the second half. He'd forget Odell Beckham Jr. altogether. You know what I'm saying? I didn't realize that was going to happen. Except so, when the, Odell's in triple yeah, coverage. The, 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 and Saquon's except, open. except for what exactly. So I didn't realize those things were going to happen. But then again, you take the victories that you can take. The, the Eagles needed to get over the hump. I love the fact that Malcolm Jenkins had an interception. He needed that since he called the team out. Can't call a team out and then get burnt and looking everywhere else in coverage. You got to show up, all right? He did that. So I'm very, very proud of that. At the end of the day, they found that they discovered a little running game with Adams as well. The offensive line played relatively well in the second half. The defense kept it simple. They basically frustrated the living hell out of Odell Beckham Jr. because they made Eli Manning look in a different direction knowing that Pat Shermer probably wouldn't figure it out, which he did it. And as a result, they won a game. But in the end, what it comes down to is this. It's the NFC East. I'm not trying to sit up there and bloviate about the Eagles like there's something special. I'm talking about the NFC East not being that special. Yeah. Well, and look, the fact that the, the, NFC, East, there we the go. NFC East gives anyone a chance. Process Even the Giants elimination. yesterday. But guys, the Giants are a terrible team. They squeaked by two bad teams recently, and people got their hopes up. And Including the, me. And, right. And, and, they could have won yesterday, Max. No, if ultimately. They call that, ultimately, call, if they call that pass interference again on, on Odell Beckham. No, they, ultimately they couldn't have won because their quarterback is the worst quarterback, starting quarterback in football, kind of by far. Like, that was such a stupid throw. A veteran quarterback, that's – Inexcusable. Inexcusable. Like, I understand he's not accurate. I understand he doesn't have arm strength. I understand he's immobile. You at least have to not make the dumbest decision you could possibly make on the field. Saquon Barkley open, no one within 10 or 15 yards. When, even when a guy's one yard from him, it's a touchdown. It, it, well, you only get a field goal. You might, you're probably going to get a touchdown out of that play anyway. You throw to Odell soft zone. Ode, no, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> in triple card. It's idiotic. Okay. The Eagles aren't good. They squeak by a bad Giants team who handed them the game. Guys, this is not the same Eagles from last year, period. The Super Bowl oh. hangover was real. Also, let me tell you something. Peterson has to show that it was not all Frank Reich, right? Like, you got to show when you lose your coordinator. Uh, Bill Parcells is a great coach. No one disputes it. But without Bill Belichick, it wasn't quite the same, right? It turned out Belichick was really, really, really good. Mm -hmm. let's, see what, let's see what Peterson can do without his coordinator, right? Like, let's see because it has not been the same this year. They're done, down. A, and by the way, even with all that, what I just said about the Giants, if it wasn't for the worst run defense maybe you will ever see, then, then the Eagles don't win the game yesterday. Like, they're just not good guys. They still have to go to the Rams. They still got two games against Washington. We figure they split those. They got the Cowboys, but it's on the road. It's I think not they beat the Cowboys, good. and I think yeah. they win at least one against the nah, Redskins. They, they've they, packed they, it in. They, the they, Eagles they, have they, packed it in. They're not packed in. They're only they one game out. They're only one game out, and they play the Redskins. And the Cowboys in three of those games. That's why I like. They tried to lose to the Giants. I just you know how don't think they're is? playing good football right now. And, and I feel like in this juncture of the season, you're going into kind of playoff mode. You're, you're trying to get your team together, figuring out who you have, and you should be playing at a high level right now, going into January. Actually, going into December and then into January, mm -hmm. if you see yourself winning the division and going into the playoffs, they're just not playing a good brand of football right now. And the team with the most momentum in the NFC East right now, unfortunately, I hate to say, it, is the Cowboys. Yeah, no yeah, question. I mean, they're playing. Well, they got big plays That's all why over Stephen the field. I totally, to I totally agree with you, which makes it even sweeter. What's going to happen to the <laughs> Thursday? That's I actually exactly do think the Cowboys make the playoffs. I think the Cowboys win the division. Win Thursday. I don't think they do anything in the playoffs, obviously, but I do think the Cowboys have the most momentum and look the best in the NFC East, which is a pretty poor division going in to make the playoffs.